We begin tonight with a security scare at the Spurs game. Tonight's game between our San Antonio Spurs and the Utah Jazz delayed by 30 minutes after the AT&T Center. The surrounding parking lots and roadways leading to the county owned facility were placed on lockdown just over an hour before the original tip off time just before 7 p.m. due to a potential security threat. That's after a Bear County Sheriff's Deputy Department uh, Sheriff's Department spokesman confirmed officials were alerted to a trash can forcing Bear County Sheriff's deputies and NBA security to execute the shutdown protocol. With more on what had to be some tense moments, let's check in with our Greg Simmons. Greg, you were there when it all went down. Yeah, and there were no evacuations at any time, even with the early fan arrivals and also the teams working out on the court. But you knew something wasn't quite right. We knew something was amiss during a 6 p.m. sportscast when the majority of fans were not allowed into the AT&T Center. Our cameras caught when the doors first opened at the AT&T Center tonight, 6.37 p.m., when the all-clear was obviously given inside the arena. Normally for a 7 p.m. tip-off, the doors would open around 6 p.m. with early ticket holders allowed in at 5.30 p.m p.m. so they can catch both teams warming up and line up for possible autographs along the railings leading to the Spurs locker room. That was not the case tonight. The Sheriff's Department spokesman added that it was not a BCSO canine that alerted officials to the trash can, but after an investigation was determined there was no threat and the lockdown was lifted. Spurs Sports and Entertainment CEO R.C. Buford issued this statement tonight. He said, in part, on the delayed start to tonight's game, we apologize to all of our fans who experienced delays entering the AT&T Center this evening. The safety of our our guess is always the utmost importance. We're pleased to, tonight's issue has been resolved. While the delayed opening forced long lines of fans leading into the AT&T Center, the traffic nightmare outside was even worse after the security threat forced officials to shut down all access to all parking lots and roadways leading to the county structure. Now more on that game itself coming up in sports. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.